Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. I got an interesting one today. Um, this is an adjuster screw. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but it's an adjuster screw. There's a right hand and a left hand thread on it. And when you turn it, it goes in and out. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's pretty pretty neat. So I got to make six of these. Um, so there's a right hand thread down here and a left hand thread here. And what we're going to do is we're going to drill these blocks in the bridge port here. And then I'm going to take them over to the radial drill. I've got taps and a tap driver that fits in the radial drill beautifully. So we'll just tap them uh, in the radial. And then we'll single point thread these uh, on the lathe. I already got the basic shape turned out, so we'll uh, get this up, get the blocks in the in the mill here, and get started. So we're on to the next step, and that's uh, we got to put the chamfer on the hole before we go to tap it. Um, we're going to tap these in the in the radial drill, but I want to talk about this little tool here. These are an indexable countersink or deburring tool. Um, I, I bought these. Well, they were cheap. I mean, really cheap. They're Chinese junk. Um, but surprisingly, they work extremely well. Um, and for this, they've been working really good. But they're just a carbide insert you can change out or you can adjust the position. Um, there's three sizes in the set. I've got the medium-sized one in here. Um, and they work good. I don't understand it, but they work. So I'm going to show you this, and then we'll go over to the radial drill and get set up.
So we got our blocks uh, threaded left and right hand for the fit on our shaft. This shaft is already turned down to the, the basic size and shape. Um, there is some other stuff that needs to be done to these, a little proprietary. Um, so we're going to just do the threads and show how this blocks, these blocks go on and you can run it in and out. And they come together and go apart. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do the right hand thread on this end, the outside end, and the left hand will be on this end. So we're going to get that set up in a little monarch here and we'll get started. Alright, so we got the, the right hand threads done and set up for the left hand. And to do that, all we do is we go opposite of what we do. You know, some lathes have a reverse, you can do things differently there. But we set our 29 and a half degrees this way, as opposed to this way, towards the chuck. We go with the towards the tailstock. And we set up our cutter and we reverse our lead screw so we're running that direction towards the tailstock. Um, it's pretty simple. It's kind of a pain in the butt though. I've been kind of fighting with it. I just got one done and I'm not happy with the way it came out. Um, I think my inserts are just, I got a bad batch of inserts last time I ordered. Um, it happens, but I'll uh, set the camera up a little bit and just kind of give you a run through of how, you, how it runs just so you can see that but then I'll show you the finished product and we'll, we'll finish out the video. So here it is. Two blocks on there a right hand and a left hand thread. So when you rotate the shaft, they go out that way and come together that way. And this is something that you can use for an adjuster. It's, it's multi-useful. Um, so that's pretty much how you do it. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Now I'm at the point that I got to finish these and these are kind of getting into the proprietary stuff. Um, I can't show the finished product. I can't show you the rest of the steps um, just because I don't want to affect my customer's privacy. Um, privacy is a big thing for me. Um, not showing secrets and, and a lot of stuff we do here is proprietary, um, top secret, things like that. Um, I can't show the whole process and the finished product. So we're gonna do what we can to, to show you what I can show you, but got to stop where, where it gets to that point. So with that, um, you can like us on Facebook at Topper Machine LLC. You can visit our website, www.toppermachine.com and like, subscribe, and share. Share our videos, help us grow. Um, let's uh, get this channel and turn it into something pretty big.
So until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.